So in keeping with the sweet things to eat theme, my next guest continues a family legacy of cooking with us on WILL TV. Her brother cooked with us just a few years ago. Her name is Paige Sigmund. Uh, she's from St. Joseph, Illinois. Hi, welcome back to the show. Hi, my brother said to say hi to oh. him because he did it when I was. Okay, do you want to say hi to him? Hi, Grant. Okay, <laughs> all right. So what will you be making with us today? Power balls. Okay, power balls. So what are some of the ingredients in power balls? Maybe we can even start putting them together right now. Well. There's honey, peanut butter, we use natural because okay. it has a lot less added sugars and fats. Okay, and stuff. these are kind of cool contraptions yeah. here. This is your honey. Okay. One cup honey. All right. We like the local honey. Uh huh. Better for um, the environment because it doesn't pollute so much because it doesn't take so much gasoline mm -hmm. to transport it. Excellent guilt-free power balls I like that so okay next up so the honey goes in first next yeah. up is the peanut butter yeah okay natural right all natural peanut butter all it is I is love this thing <laughs> all it is is peanuts and salt okay perfect so okay and then and then what's next your three cups quick cooking oats okay so put all those in there beautiful now there's a you have a lot of a lot of ingredients here, yeah. um, especially I, I see a couple of different types of dried fruit that looks yeah. good. Ground flax seed. Flax seed, okay. That's the healthy part, right? Yeah. <laughs> good for your heart. Chopped, I was gonna say all of this is pretty chopped healthy. Chopped walnuts. Okay. Or any other kind of nuts. Any nut. other kind of nuts, okay. Um raisins. Okay. There you go. It's good. Um, dried chopped cherries. Dried chopped cherries. Okay. Or right. any other kind of dried fruit. Sure. So currants or dried blueberries. Yeah. You even. You could mix it up. Yeah. To get some variety. Definitely. Um, ch miniature chocolate chips. Very we cool. Used semi sweet. Okay. Good. Okay. So is that everything? Yes. So then the next step would be to start. Mixing and it. it's and from what I understand it takes quite a bit of yeah of uh, work to get that done so and then okay all right well so we're gonna we're gonna skip that work part but now we've got some completed uh, Powerball mix so that you can show us how to make the balls oh thank you <laughs> well you can use your hands or mm -hmm. a cookie scoop or both okay you scoop it up pack it in doesn't really matter what size it is but okay. You can use the side of the bowl too if you want to. Yeah, and then to make it more power ballish, ballish shape. Right. Give it a spherical <laughs> shape. Okay, so just plop it out like this. Mm. Okay. All right, Paige. So, so when you make these, do you like to make these for a snack? Do you have them for dessert sometimes? Mm, mostly dessert. Mostly dessert. Okay, because I had one of these things and it really, it really filled me up. And so that's about it for us for this part of the show. So thank you so much for joining us. Okay, maybe we'll have you back or any siblings that you have. Maybe they can come back too. So, and if you're interested in seeing what the Powerballs look like, just check out your screen.